Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. And Happy New Year. So we are going through my current and 2020 planner stack and it hasn't changed a whole lot, but I did want to give you just a quick update because there have been little tweaks here and there. So I do have two previous planner stack videos up, which I will link down in the description if you are interested in that. So let's dig right in. So let's start with my DC folio, which is kind of my daily planner. I have four um, petite planners in here. So this is the champagne cover. I just switched this out. I am going to do a new setup video. I just don't know when, I haven't decided that yet, but I just have this little charm on here, which has a little geode thing on it. And I really, really love the um, DC folio. I was using like a vegan leather um, A5 TN and I just I love the flexibility of these. I have not personalized it very much and I just moved my old setup over to this one. So this is kind of an older um, version of my EC folio, but it still totally works. And I do still love everything that I have decorated in here. So first up, first petite planner is my daily planner. So this is where I keep track of my pre-planning and I keep track of my journaling for when I build my memory spreads. So I do my journaling down here with the new format. I was doing it here in the old one, but this little calendar is kind of in the way. So I'm gonna switch that to over here and then I'll have my notes for school up here and then my notes for home down here for my pre-planning purposes. And then this is going to be my notes for my memory planner. So that is what I'm just gonna continue doing that. I'm just gonna move my memory planner notes over here and it will be fine. This is also handy if life gets really busy and you need the just the daily pages. I did use this um, specifically when I broke my wrist and I needed to track when I was taking my medicine and all of that and to make sure I didn't like double dose myself or whatever. And this was super helpful. I just made hours on the lines and made it into an hourly planner. I do wish that the weekends weren't stacked, but it really doesn't bother me that much because I do kind of the same routine every weekend with like little, you know, little things. But um, I'm going to use this section for my memory notes. So that's my daily. I just have these little temporary tabs on here. I guess I could get like fancier tabs, but these are just little, um, I think it's like Post-it brand or Avery maybe. Um, just some little tabs to put so I can find them monthly really easily. So here's February. And then the next planner that I have, so same setup as my last TN setup. The next one is my monthly planner. So this is from July 2019 to December of 2020. And I just have my little Texas clip. Every time I post something, people ask me where I got this. My sister gave it to me. She lives in Dallas. I don't know which boutique she got it at, but I just love it so much. And I keep it on my monthly um, calendar here. So okay. this planner is specifically for pre-planning months and months ahead because this is only, my little dailies are only three months at a time. I do have the other three for the rest of the year already purchased. They're on my bookshelf over behind me. And this is to kind of plan ahead when it doesn't fit this calendar. Now, once I start my dailies though, I'm really like kind of sticking to this monthly calendar. So this one will fill up. Now you'll notice this one will not change, if that makes sense. So February and March, pretty much not gonna change from here on out, but I will add to April and so on. All right, so here's the, the end of it just has some notes pages and stuff like that and some little stickers. I keep all of my stickers for my monthlies back here in the little pocket. Okay, third one is my new wellness log. I do have a new wellness plan with me up if you would like to go and check that out. This is the new focused collection. So it's the petite planner, but it's the focused collection one. So it's much more neutral. Plus I love this yellow mustard color, it's so pretty. It's much more neutral than the other one, like the regular one which I love. So here is um, the current week here and it is Tuesday. So I haven't worked out yet, but I will. 
and I haven't finished filling out yesterday either. I already got my meals, already prepped for the week. I just love this. It's very simple and it's super straightforward. And this is even better than the meal planner. I tried the meal planner first. This is where it's at for me because I want to see my meal planning and my activity tracker at the same time. I'm really excited to start Yoga with Adrienne's new yoga challenge called Home. It's going to be really good. So this is six months of trackers. There is a little monthly progress kind of check-in every, I don't know, four or five weeks. And you can like document different things and look at, I want to be better about working on my goal, like tracking out my goals here. And I want to be better about doing wellness plan with these. I'm going to try for once a month, but we'll see if that happens. <laughs> All right. So moving to the last one, this is the same as, as it's been for a while now. This is my doc grid journal and i just keep this giant paper clip from erin condren on an empty page because this literally is just to jot down things really quick make a quick to-do list it's very messy and it's just perfect for that so i still haven't filled this one up yet but i do have a backup ready to go when i do so when i finish actually putting this together it will have a pocket back here and a pocket in the front as well but i'll probably do like a spring setup that's what i'm thinking but I love this one. I think I'll switch to Lagoon in the summer again because I just love that Lagoon color, but I really like the champagne for now. All right, so that's the first planner. This is the one that I check in with daily, every day. Like, well, that's what daily means, but this is the one that I spend probably the most time in daily because it has all my trackers and stuff in it. Okay, so next up is my everyday planner. Now this one is my decorative planner that I just I love this so much so um, let's go to the current week here's this week so the new year is upon us and I just love this planner this is pre-planned out and then I fill it in as the week goes on so here's last week the week before I just love this planner it's just it gives me something to do every day I check in with this planner every morning for just a couple of minutes and see what do I need to do at school that day. I just put the basics in and then what do I have going on at home? I try to plan semi chronologically so that I, I just my brain works that way. So I like to have my school stuff up at the top and then I will put my home stuff down at the bottom. I've been planning that way for a very long time and it just kind of works for me, but I just love using obviously I love using kits it's my favorite thing and I just I really love this planner it's hard to imagine using anything else at this point I know a lot of people are switching to the Aura Estelle cloud which I'm very intrigued by but I'm just not a ring planner person I'm not saying that I'm gonna like rule that out completely but I don't know I don't know there's gonna be just some decisions made in May and June about the next academic year. I always switch out at the academic year. So we'll see. I have a feeling I'm gonna stay where I'm at, but we'll just see what strikes my fancy. But I just love this planner. This is six months worth of spreads because I do follow the academic year and I just love all of this so much. It's really nice to look back on if I'm looking for a specific date or event or anything like that. Plus it's just, it's pretty. And that is not a reason to be ashamed of using decorative planning and kits and stuff. Like it's pretty, it keeps me organized and I love it. So that is my everyday planner. And then let's go to, by the way, this cover is from Stylish Planners. And this is the one I started with the new year, um, mainly because I wanna be really focused on my health goals this year. So this is my everyday planner. Let's move to my memory planner. So this one is kind of my mini scrapbook. That's how I like to describe it. So I do have all of my spreads planned out from July to December. Um, I use the monthly spreads for gratitude. So each day I note something that I'm grateful for. Uh, most of the time I don't sit down and do it daily. I usually do like three or four days at a time, uh, just because I don't think about sitting down and doing it. But I still consider that daily gratitude because I 
I kind of tailor it to the day. Um, but yeah, here's November and there's December. This looks so cute. And then I do a little journaling over on this side. Now, when it comes to the weekly spreads, I called it a mini scrapbook because I include pictures and I do journaling as well. So depending on the week, I'll do more pictures or more journaling, uh, but usually it's a healthy mix of both. So it just kind of depends on the week. I film most of these, but not all of them. I use these pages just to catch some things um, that didn't fit in the spreads. But yeah, it just depends. If it's a week like this week when my family was here, I just filled up the whole day with pictures. And then I did some journaling in other places. But it just kind of um, depends on the week. But I do love this planner a lot. This is the one that I like to spend like if I'm going to go back and just reminisce in my planners, this is the one that I go to because it has like what really happened. It has like just pretty spreads and like my feelings. This is definitely more personal than like my everyday planner is, but I just, I love them for different reasons. That one's more fun. This one's more like real and personal and I just love this. So I finished up December. I didn't film any of my December spreads. I just wasn't feeling it, but I do love all of these. And I will have a flip through of my memory planner coming up next week, I think, or the week after. But this is the cover that I chose originally back in May when I ordered this. And to be honest, I'm not feeling it anymore. So I'm probably gonna order a new one. I just want something that's a little bit more pretty. And this one's a little too simple for like I keep this cover on all year. I switch out this one. I switch it out like every two weeks. This one I keep on all year. So I think I'm gonna get a new cover for this, but I just don't know which one yet. I probably will just wait until I order my new planners, but it could be sooner, who knows. All right, so that was my memory planner. And then the last planner that I have of the four is my teacher planner. And this is my Erin Condren. Um, Teacher lesson planner, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is a Erin Condren neutral vertical along with this one, both vertical neutrals. So this cover is from uh, Stylish Planners as well. I just switched it out for the new year and I think it's so cute. I have a black coil. It is huge. It's eight and a half by 11. It's gigantic. I use the um, ruler here to mark my spot. And this is much more like traditional planning. So here is the week going back to school. I've already got my lesson plans in here. I have got a column for to-dos with my classroom stuff. And then these are all my other responsibilities um, on like an everyday basis at school because I do some instructional coaching. So he, let's look at some spreads from December. So I do have um, a teacher planner playlist that I will link down below if you want to see more of this because I do like more in-depth flip throughs and setups and all that stuff. So I do love this planner so much. I usually use just EC washi and happy planner stickers and I just go with that. I'm trying to make it very colorful and happy and it makes me want to use it more <laughs> if I do that. So here's a typical monthly spread. My monthlies really aren't filled out too much. It's more about my weekly spreads. So I love this planner so much. I did do the personalized labels up here. And then this had, was supposed to be like a running to-do to list for the week, but it turned into, let me see, um, just like a prep list. I think next year I will definitely rename that column and call it like prep or I don't know, like Google Classroom prep. I don't know. But... <laughs> What I do over here is I plan out all of the materials that I need to get into Google Classroom, which is this list with GC, and then paper copies, and the R is for regular, H is for honors, because I teach both honors world history and regular world history. And then if it's blank or it says B, then that means both. So like here's B for both. That's my system. It works really well and I'm, going to continue doing that um, throughout the new year. This is homecoming week, so I did kind of a theme with our school colors. And yeah, 
I do have a couple more of these little kits that I want to use next semester. I'm just not sure exactly when. But I love this planner so much. This goes to school with me on Monday and it comes home on Friday. So it spends the weekend with me. But most of the time it is at school because it's heavy, first of all. It's a little chunky planner. And I just don't need it at home. Anything that I need, I do at school. The only thing I do at home is grading, generally. Because I've taught the same thing for quite a while. I, I just update my lesson plans and just kind of spice them up. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little flip through of my 2020 planner setup or planner stack, I should say. I love these planners. This has been my system for, I don't know, like a year and a half and it's working really well. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I love it. If you have any questions about any of these planners or how I use them, you can definitely leave those down in the comments below. I will be happy to answer anything. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic new year. I'm ready for 2020. Let's do this. And I think that's everything. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.